Hey, what's up guys and gals? It's the Tyrant here and I'm so excited because today we get to take a look at the new trailer released by Masters League, the creator and developer behind Halo SPV3. For those of you who don't know what SPV3 is, it's a mod for Halo PC, well more specifically a mod for Halo Combat Evolved Custom Edition. And uh, so if you saw my videos late or late last year, yeah that's about right, uh, I went through the first half of the campaign, that's all they released. Uh, was the first five missions in addition to another mission called Silent Cartographer Evolved where they basically took the map to Silent Cartographer and redid it completely, did an amazing job. Uh, so the mod basically is they went through the original campaign of Halo Combat Evolved, they redid the graphics, they updated them, they added new bad guys, they added new weapons, they even added entire new portions to the campaign missions themselves. Basically you could play Halo Combat Evolved a thousand times in a row and if you step into this game for the first time, it's going to be a completely different experience for you. It's amazing, it's fantastic. And so today, we actually get to take a look at the trailer for the final half of the campaign. So what Masters has done, he's gone back, he's done some touch-ups to the first half of the campaign, but he's also gone and finished the rest of it. And I can't wait to see this. I've been hearing lots of good things about it, and I wanna watch this with you. We're gonna check this out together, okay? So let's go ahead. And we're going to watch this right now. Even the Chief is amazed at the new graphics. Ooh. Ooh, that elite got blue ball. Literally. There's a fucking anti-air raid. Gauss Hog, nice. Oh, SMG with special obsoletes. And look at those graphics. You got the skirmisher right there, too. Oh, here we go. Mission list right here. She looks sexy. Oh, Brutes! There you go. Got some Brutes. Got a new weapon there. That is the, uh... It's not the Spiker. It's something else. It's, uh... And look at this. You got low gravity right here. This is pretty awesome. This is the Vortex Grenade. I, I think they call it something different in the game, but... Look at that. It just destroyed everything. Alright, now we get to see Halo itself. Look at that nice Phantom right there. That's a new grenade, too. It's like a cluster grenade or something like that. Got a Longsword Fighter. That's new. I don't think that was in the, uh, original released last year. Is that anti-air raid again? This is from one of the new sections of the campaign right here. You finally get rockets back on the Pelican. I haven't seen that in a while. You get the indigenous life too. Those are, I think they call them blind wolves. This is one of my favorite missions right here, the Truth and Reconciliation. Ultras. Look at that carbine. Jack has definitely improved on this game. Focus rifle from Halo Reach. All you Reach fans out there. in this game as far as I know. There might be more in SPV3 since it was released, I don't know. You can even pick up and use their weapons, that's so cool. Here we go, this is the meat of it right here. This is what I was waiting for. Oh, that looks like it. Plasma disorder that shoots fire. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, look at the flood! A 
great in the library. That's exactly what it needed. That's my favorite mission right here. Oh, yes! Yes, they added the Enforcer! Is that a hornet? got the little ones in there too, the little constructors, that's awesome. Biomass. Bifo hammer. That's what I'm talking about right there. Holy shit. I'm going to have to take my heart medication after watching that. That was amazing. So final thoughts on the trailer here. Um, I was, the, first of all, the fact that they just added the new sentinels to the, uh, or the, the, the other sentinel species that you only saw in like Halo 2 um, and a little bit in Halo 5, uh, I think that's fantastic. I think the Enforcer was never used enough. And it's just so cool to be able to see that they implemented it into the game. I wish, I don't know if you can use the pulse cannons or not as a weapon, because typically in these, in uh, Masters mods, you can utilize pretty much any weapon in the game. I, I, I will say, uh, also, I, I thought for some reason there was going to be a, another mission in there between Keys and the Pillar of Autumn. I thought it was supposed to be like the second mission, but in reverse. Uh, at nighttime when it's covered by flood or something like that. I don't know if that's still in there or not. Either way, the game looks fantastic. Um, as you see up on there, it's going to be free to download on Reddit. I cannot wait to play this. I highly recommend you do too. And I want you to let me know in the comments below what you think of this mod and what you're looking forward to the most. Again, you can let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter at Mythic Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. And if you like this video and you want to see more, you want to see some footage of Halo SPV3, more, more coming in advance, Click that subscribe button for more great content every single day right here on MythicTyra.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. Have a great Wednesday. I'll catch you right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.